Hallelujah. How are you? My name is Titi Eagles. I'm coming to you live from Nairobi, Kenya. I am the lead pastor, Eagles Dominion House International. I'm doing a new series on victory in obedience. What comes to your mind when you hear the word victory? What comes to your mind when you hear the word obedience? Everybody wants victory, but a few will walk in obedience because there will be no victory without obedience. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 8, the Bible says, By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing where he went. It's very challenging to know that Abraham didn't know where he was going. But by faith, he obeyed. Abraham is not aware. Where am I headed to? Where is the land? How does the land look like? So is the land empty waiting for me? There must have been questions. The family must have been asking questions. They, they, they demanded answers. Because it never made sense. But to whom that received the calling, the man had faith in God. And he obeyed. Listen to me carefully. Total obedience is required in victory. We want victory. But very few people want to walk in obedience. But without obedience, there's no victory. Without walking in total obedience, there is no victory. Now, from Hebrews 11.8, we've seen there are two things. That by faith, mm -hmm, Abraham obeyed. So two things are required for victory. Number one, total obedience. Number two, having faith in God. These are the two ingredients. These are the two ingredients that are needed for you to experience, for you to walk in victory. Total obedience in God. Having faith in God. Abraham didn't know where he was going. But you know what? He obeyed. By faith. We obey by faith. Not because we are seeing it. Not because we've been there. But we behave as if we've been there. It's only a man of faith that behaves as if he has been there already and he is here. So he's like pretending that he doesn't know, but he knows. Mm. You hear what I said? Abraham looked like he knew where he was going, but he didn't know. It was by faith. This obedience was by faith. No one can win any battle that is ahead of them with disobedience show me a man walking in disobedience I will show you a man that is experiencing defeat in their lives show me a man that is obedient to God I will show you a man who lives a victorious life victory is for the men that are obedient to God but men that are disobedient, what they expect is defeat. No one can win in battle ahead of them with disobedience. Please note that. Underline it. It's a requirement for God's children. It's a requirement for you and me to be obedient and to have faith in God. It's a requirement. Now, have you ever known this? Sorry. That your obedience is an evidence of your faith in God. Our obedience is an evidence of our faith. Your obedience is an evidence of your faith. Without obedience, there is defeat. Without obedience, 
there is defeat. But the presence of obedience brings victory. The presence of obedience brings victory. Choose to be obedient. Choose to have faith in God. Because it was by faith that Abraham obeyed God and he was able to go to a land that he didn't know. God spoke to him about him. He didn't give him the whole plan. He just said, there's a land I'm sending you to. And Abraham had faith in God. Where is your faith? Can you have faith in God? And can you walk in obedience? Can you be obedient? For there to be victory, two things are required of a believer. Having faith in God, walking in total obedience. Ask King Saul, when he decided to walk in disobedience, he lost his place. He lost his kingship. He was taken to another man. The kingdom was taken from him and given to another man. Even David. Choose to have faith in God. Choose to walk in obedience. May this be your portion.